This video serves as an introduction to combinatorics, which relates to counting, arranging, and ordering. So this is just the light version of combinatorics. Combinatorics can get really hard really fast. Um, we're not going to do anything too crazy in these combinatorics videos, though. OK, so the first thing that we're going to cover is counting ordered sequences. So imagine you go to the casino, and there's a roulette wheel. Um, imagine you spin that wheel twice, and on the wheel there are numbers 0 to 36. So if we write the outcome 5, 12, that means that the first outcome is a 5, and the second outcome, the second spin, is a 12. OK, so we're wondering how many results can two spins produce? Well, one spin, we can get number 0 to 36, so we have 37 options. And then for the second spin, we also have 37 options. So that means that we have 37 times 37 different results that two spins can produce. So this leads us to a theorem called the multiplication rule. So if we have two operations, A and B, and operation A can be performed in M ways, and operation B can be performed in N ways, then the sequence operation A, operation B, can be performed in M times N ways. All right, a corollary to that. Um, we don't have to stick to only two operations. Say that we have operation AI, I going from 1 to K, and that operation can be performed in NI different ways, I going from 1 to K again. Then the sequence A1, A2 through AK can be performed in N1 times N2 times dot, 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 times NK different ways. All right, so let's use this, op uh, this uh, multiplication rule to count different things. So first example, imagine that we have a bike lock, and the bike lock has four digits. Each digit can be 0 to 9. How many potential lock combinations are there? So 0 to 9, that's 10 options. So the first digit has 10 options. The second digit has 10 options. The third digit has 10 options. And the fourth digit has 10 options. So that means that we have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 different lock combos. OK, next example, Minnesota license plates. So um, a standard Minnesota license plate has six digits. And let's imagine that the format must be three letters followed by three numbers. And we have a rule that the first letter cannot be a W. How many different plates can Minnesota make? OK, so obviously there are 26 letters in the alphabet. If the first one cannot be a W, then that leaves 25 options. And then we have 26 options for the second letter, 26 options for the third letter. And then we have 10 options for the first number, 10 for the second number, and 10 for the third number. So this product here is how many license plates Minnesota can make if they're making standard Minnesota license plates. Now in Minnesota, we have something called whiskey plates, um, informally called whiskey plates. Um, so if a person has a lot of um, driving under the influence sort of tickets or other moving violations, then um, they're required to have a license plate that starts with a W so that police can kind of keep an eye out for them and know that this is a car that is driven by someone who has a lot of um, violations. OK, so imagine that the format for these whiskey plates is First letter must be a W, then it's followed by another letter, and then four numbers. So how many different whiskey plates can Minnesota make? Well, we only have one option for W. The next one is a letter, and we have 26, 26 options. And then we have four digits, each of which can be 0 to 9. So we have 10 options for each of those. So this is how many whiskey plates Minnesota could make. All right, one more example, Braille. So for Braille, we have six different positions here. And each one of these positions can be a raised dot or a just flat dot. So for example, um, maybe this would be one example of a character. We would be able to feel this one, this one, this one, this one. And then we would not be able to feel anything in this position or in this position. OK, so if we can have six different um, spots, and each spot can either be raised or flat, how many characters can we make? OK, so this one can be raised or flat. So we have two options, two options, two, 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 two. So we have two to the sixth 
different option. But if all six of these spots are flat, then we cannot feel anything. It's like we have nothing there. There's no character there. So that's not a very uh, useful character. So let's not count that in our number of Braille characters. So then that means we have two to the six minus one different characters that we could make. Um, so this is definitely more than the number of letters we have in the alphabet. So this covers letters, punctuation, and then some common words. Um, so maybe and, the, or of.